So today we're gonna to be making my family's tomato soup. And so what we've got here is we've got three pounds of Roma tomatoes. You can use canned or fresh. Uh, we've got around four carrots right here. We've got three tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon of basil, and a whole medium onion. So then now what I'm doing is I'm quartering these carrots and I'm just putting them into little bite-sized pieces. So now we're beginning to chop the onion. And then we're gonna be walking over here and we've got the three tablespoons of oil and we're gonna be heating them up onto, I'd say medium heat. And we're going to be pulling, pulling this into the pan. Just like so. Then, we're back to cutting the onion. And so, I'm just making incisions, not fully cutting the onion in half. But, what I'm going to be doing is cutting little strips. Then I'm going to be cutting the onion into thirds, almost all the way through, but not just yet. Then if you do it just like so, and you cut it across wise, should be able to get very tiny bits of onion. And so now that the oil is heated up, we're going to be taking these carrots and the onion over to the pan and we're going to be adding them at the same time. So we're going to be dumping in the carrots. As always, sizzle and flavor. Put this aside. Then we're going to be adding in the onion. Just like so, making sure to get every single bit. Set this to the side. You're gonna be grabbing the spoon and you're gonna be tossing them around so that the oil gets tossed with the carrots and the onions. And so I'll just be checking on these in 10 minutes to see if they're cooked. And so now I'm gonna be adding in the basil. that aside make sure it's well incorporated and I'll be back checking in on it in five minutes I'm going to be adding in the tomatoes and I forgot to mention but right here we have some one and a half cups of chicken stock that I made myself and so I'm gonna be opening in the lid Set this to the side. And now, just add in the tomatoes. Just like so. Then, add in the stock. Make sure it's well incorporated. Kind of mashing the tomatoes. And then you're gonna need to get this to a boil and then let it simmer for 45 minutes. I've been using this masher just to help along with the process, but now it's a step to add in some pepper. And you're just doing this all to taste. Think that's a good amount then we're going to be adding in some salt also to taste
I should be good. I just removed the tomato soup from the burner and we need to let it cool. So I put it into this ice bath since we can't blend while it's still hot. And now we're going to be adding in the cooled soup into this blender. Just like so. And so now we're going to blend the tomato soup. And we're going to be needing to do this in two different batches since it doesn't all fit into the blender. Give me a moment. So now we're going to be making the second batch. Putting back the lid. And so now the second batch is done. Taking it off the blend. So we're going to be adding it back to this other batch that was already heating up. Be careful. Everything's hot. This is the finished tomato soup. Hope you enjoy.